This is me, secretly using hacks, or what people think I'm doing. You see, oh. in a lot of my videos, oh, people think I'm hacking because of clips like these. Bruh. Bro, why are these kids so mad? What? Now, am I using hacks or not? Okay, I'm just gonna admit it. Yes, I do use hacks. I'm sorry for this. You guys really thought I used hacks? Like, come on now. But today, I will make people think that I'm hacking in the new Block 2 update by testing crazy OP glitches and using them. The first new glitch in the update will make you invincible. Don't believe me? Well, here's a server full of 30 mils, and I decide to place a bounty on myself. Bro, the plot armor. Like, I'm telling you, I'm the- And sure enough, I am invincible. Now, how did I do this? Well, for this to work, you need to have these three requirements. The first is to get flash set, which is attained in the first scene using either of these methods. The first method is to go to the frozen village and enter this cave, then talk to this homeless person right here. Another is to go to the magma village and talk to this person near this tiny house. The the second requirement is to get to the third C. The final requirement is to have any fruit that you can do from raids. Now that you got all the requirement done, I will show you how to do this glitch. First, equip the fruit you have. Second, do the raid. After you've been transported to this place, you're basically invincible, but how do you get out? You bypass walls. Go to this spot right here, look down, and teleport. Go all the way to the outside and boom, you're free invincibles to others. So I'ma use this glitch to troll this eagle to the heaven place because this guy really think he's him. Alright, I said I'll give each player 50k robux and this dude actually believe me, like what? They think that I'm Mr. Beast or something. Bro, no way they're taking their time to go to their main build. I'm just one person, like am I that threatening? Oh! Uh... Why did he decide to hit me? Um... I'm gonna just teleport them away, hopefully they forget about it. Damn, they realized that I just wasted their time. The second glitch was thought to be patch, the Buddha speed glitch. But if you try to do the glitch, you won't be able to until the new update with a slight adjustment. The first is to have Buddha fruit, of course, but you have to have it unawakened. The second is to have any fruit equipped in your hand. Now use shift lock, Look back and time your jumps. The Buddha speed glitch has finally returned. So just a scenario, right? You're just grinding like normal. Then a 25 mil player decided to kill you, but now you can use that Buddha speed glitch and get out in seconds. While you're recording this glitch, look who joined. Twizzy himself. Yo, can I get him back to back? That would be actually crazy. No way he's going to fall for it again. This guy really didn't learn his lesson. I'm going to have to teach him, bro. Alright, if I lose, I'm actually bad at the game. Oh yeah, this is easy, GG, I already won. anti cheat just sold me. Oh my, I just lost 10k Robux. Alright guys, that was a nice little warm-up. Like, you, you always remember? gotta have a warm-up. Alright, this is real this time. If anti cheat get me again, this glitch is trash. And luckily it didn't. Oh my god, my 10k Robux is saved. And this guy called warm-ups. For a nice excuse, Alright, this is the last one. I'm pretty confident, like, I'm gonna win. Like, he's light work, I'm gonna be honest. I'm selling, bruh. Okay, it, it doesn't matter. I win. Nice. The third glitch will make you get out of any situation. The super high jump glitch? To do this, first you need to change your setting to click to move. Now jump, and right when you're about to land, you dash and use your right click at the same time. Combine this with the Buddha speed glitch, and you get this. Oh my god, I'm hella fast, bro. Basically, this is kind of useless because of the anti-cheat. To see if it's really like that, I have only ready, bro, 3 minutes ready? to survive against this 27 mil dude, and I can only use the glitch. Um, I gotta count. Bro, why are you counting? Because I can go with you. Oh, what the heck? No, you have a chance to run. That's the problem. You know, I don't know. I should use pilot helmet. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, you, you Bro, how are you kind of hitting me? Like, you're super close. I'm a real sweat. Oh, nah, this is actually way too OP. You cannot kill me with this. If I keep this, like, timing my jumps, like... It's gonna hide him and then while you're out of the... Uh, while you're out of combat. So, like, I'm just gonna like, sky cam? Yeah, yeah, you can do that. I don't care. Oh, yeah, you're done for it. You're done for, Brazo. There's no way. Bro, I'm selling. I can't even get up here. Hey, 
Watch the juke, watch the juke, watch the juke. Oh, we got juke. Holy. That wasn't even it. That's a nice juke, bro. That's a nice juke. That's a very nice juke. Oh my god. I'm trying to get out. Got up. I can hit you right. Alright, bro. Calm down, bro. Calm down. No. Oh, yeah. Bro, when is the timer gonna end? There's five more seconds. Yeah, GG. Fourth glitch will make you invisible. The only slight problem is that you need human v4 and dragon fruit. To do this, transfer him to human v4, flash up and then quickly use dragon transformation. And you're an invisible dragon now. You will get out of invis once dragon transformation is gone. But there is a glitch which can last forever. The fifth glitch. All you need is human v4 and life fruit. It's basically similar to the dragon method, except first you need to flash up, then quickly switch to life flight and then flash up after you get out of lifeline. Now you can use any ability and still be in this forever, except using the lifelight. All right, timer starts now. Is that the black chest? Look. Bro, why are you doing black chest? I swear you're on top of the building. I'm not using operation building. Nah, nah, Wait. nah. Wait a minute. What, what happened? Mm. You in here? Okay, I don't know what the hell that was. Hey, you want to hit? You want to hit? Yeah, hit. Hit, hit. Right, I need a hint. Are you sure you want to hit? Yeah, yeah. You, you. What the hell? Where did I come from? Bro. The... Oh. <laughs> Why are you in a tower, bro? Bro, no, I'm not. What are you talking about? Huh? I just hit some <laughs> Just hit someone. Hey, go up the stairs real quick. Go up the stairs. Wait, wait, what? Stairs? I'm blind. Oh, Was that pretty better? <laughs> Bro, this is actually the most funniest show I ever done. Like, just get an OP fruit and leave it like right here. Wait, this guy's gonna fall for it. Oh my, they really thought that is a free fruit. Like, come on now, what? They're still trying to get it, what are- Bro, even Twizzy trying to get it, what? That's three in a row. Twizzy, what is he doing? Bro, he should have known that's not a free fruit. The sixth glitch will make you have aimbot, literally. Like, you can shoot over here and you still hit him. But to do this glitch is quite difficult. There's two ways to do this glitch with. Buddha sword and spider fruit. But since I'm broke and don't got spider fruit, I'm gonna use Buddha sword. First off, you need a PC, so, uh... Alright, next, to hit your shots, you're gonna want to look towards them. Use X, but hold it down and then right click the Y bar and hold that down too. This will freeze your screen so once you aim at the player and let go at the same time, you hit that clip. Don't believe me? Well watch this 1v1. Alright guys, let me show you how to like be pro at this game. And I hit that clip just like that because I'm really good. Hold on, I'm crazy with the movements though. Like did you saw that? I knew that was gonna happen so I did that. Like come on now. Oh hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm about to hit another clip. Like this, watch this. Okay, that okay, never mind. Uh, he went straight into that, but I knew that was gonna happen, so I did that. Bro, this guy did not damage me at all. Like, what is he doing? Watch this another clip. Hold on, I'm going to try real quick. And I hit that. Nah, I'm too good. After like seven shots, I finally killed him. Let's go. The seventh glitch is really just based on luck. The chance of doing this is probably 1 out of a thousand. The glitch is a default yellow and blue skin character, but slightly smaller than other players. To do this glitch, you gotta join thousands of servers and hopefully you find the glitch. After like 420 tries, I finally did the glitch. And you could do some really cool things with it, like this small Buddha glitch. The downside is that it really doesn't give any Buddha range, and you're kinda slippery, so uh... Now that you know all the glitches, what if you combine all of them? Alright guys, so I'm facing this 10 mil player dude, um, he only knows that I have the invis glitch, the rest he shouldn't know, so I'm gonna surprise him with it. Alright, I'm gonna do one right here. Did he even move on that one? 
did not saw any movements bro this guy said he's lagging like come on no all right not gonna lie i've been not hitting this shot for some reason i hit that one now this should finish him off if i hit this yeah nice first round is uh kind of scuff but second round i'm gonna do better like trust guys trust bro this glitch might be one of my favorites of all time like it's so fun to play with three two one and i hit oh my god it's so satisfying when i hit that not sure what to commentate i'm gonna be honest so uh, kind of sleepy too not gonna lie so i think one more match and this should be good hey but like how did he not call on that i'm using this aimbot thing bro like, what is he doing Hey, not gonna lie, I can see why people are using skill build now. This is pretty fun. Like, you be moving crazy, but in reality, you don't know what you are doing. Oh my god, bro. I'm crazy with it, bro. Hit that! 3, 2, 1. Alright, now watch this clip real quick. Juke his shot because, like, I'm really like that. Hit him. Boom. Move out. Do something crazy again. Aim there, hit that, go out, dodge that, I'm crazy, I don't know what I'm saying, but it's working. And then I'm gonna finish him with my Buddha sword aimbot, 3, 2, 1, boom, easy.